Hey, what's up? I'm Brenda Gillespie with today's Inside Scoop. The desperate housewives have desperate producers. Good morning. Thanks for choosing NBC5. I'm Brandon Gillespie. Top of your news. That's it for the news today. I'm Brandon Gillespie. Join me tomorrow for more news you can use. Now, just because it's tax-free weekend, it doesn't mean everything is tax-free. Book bags and other school supplies don't make the list. Now, live, this is NBC5 News Today. Well, good morning. Thanks for choosing NBC5. I'm Brandon Gillespie. Top of our news this morning, police and killers suspect foul play at the death of an 11-year-old. The young girl and her mother were found in their home last night. Police say the mother is in the hospital. No word yet on how she was injured or how the child died. A suspect is still on the loose after an overnight chase in Dallas. It started when police made a traffic stop, but the man sped off. After a short chase, the suspect stopped at Gale and Justin Streets and ran off. Officers say the vehicle he was driving had been used in several car break-ins. Hey, what's up? I'm Brenda Gillespie. It's time now for today's Inside Scoop. Actress Patricia Arquette says she's finally ready to marry her fiancé, Thomas Jane, next year. The star on NBC's Medium and the actor from the movie The Punisher have a two-year-old daughter together and have been engaged since 2002. In Touch Weekly reports, Charlize Theron and Stuart Townsend will marry this summer in Malibu. The couple met on the set of a movie in 2001. Not so good friends who spilled the news to the tabloid says it's so hush-hush, everyone sworn to secrecy. And Smart Charlize hasn't told them the exact date or location. From 30 to 50% off to just plain huge sales. Retailers are doing whatever to attract back to school tax-free weekend shoppers. Tax-free weekends like Thanksgiving weekend, you know, uh, increase in traffic. Uh, the sales are up already this year, so that's going to be a help in increase for sales for uh, during that slow period, that slow season. And the second biggest shopping season has people shopping early to avoid the crowd. It's too crazy. I do like the pre-shopping and then I go and just do the purchase, actual purchase. Now just because it's tax-free weekend, it doesn't mean everything is tax-free. Book bags and other school supplies don't make the list. But there's plenty of other non-taxable items. All clothes, shoes, and school uniforms are included. We have a lot of clearance that we'll be offering, um, but we have a lot of merchandise that's under the, the $99.99, so we have a lot of stuff to offer. And if you're worried about the lines, they'll be there, but so will the manpower. Oh, yeah, we'll have plenty of employees on the floor to help customers, so. Brandon Gillespie, NBC5. <laughs> From the sounds of laughter, You'd probably imagine the bonds on this football team are unbreakable. Well, that's certainly the case here. If we're not playing together as our senior year, and we've been playing together our whole life, I mean, it's just, it's, it just hurts you. But one big move by the Dallas School District has threatened those bonds, and members of this team have no choice but to split up. When we got the news yesterday, it was just, it was just so devastating, and, we, and then we was all talking today, and... We, we, just, we just don't know what to do right now. We, we, we weren't, we, who, who, who would have thought when we, when we was up here freshman that we wouldn't have a school our senior year? No school? Well, not exactly. He's talking about Dallas School's decision to close down Wilmer Hutchins because it will cost too much to renovate by fall. All students at Wilmer Hutchins High School will be bused to Dallas to attend Carter, A. Maceo Smith, or South Oak Cliff High School. As for what the team plans to do, they'll keep practicing, of course. I feel like uh, it's helping us regardless, uh, no matter if we do have to go to another school, it's still keeping us in shape. And that attitude is more proof that for these Eagles, leaving the nest early doesn't mean they can't fly. Brandon Gillespie, NBC5.